In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Prayer for the success of the parish mission. O Jesus, most holy Redeemer, our Master and our King, it is to thy sacred heart, that ocean of love and goodness, that we owe the inestimable blessing of a mission. Touched with compassion at the sight of our miseries and the eternal unhappiness that threatens us, thou hast resolved to save us. The missionary who is coming to us is thy representative. In thy person, they will break for us the bread of God's word and will bring to us the joy of forgiveness. Grant, O Lord, that we may be faithful to thy grace and correspond zealously with the advances of thy mercy. Let the preaching of thy eternal truths enlighten and quicken our minds and deeply move our hearts, so that we may realize our shortcomings and sincerely repent of them. To the poor souls plunged in the darkness of ignorance and error, do thou grant the life of faith. To those who have saddened thee by a wicked life, do thou give the grace of a sincere conversion. Bestow fresh fervor upon the lukewarm, and upon the just, true progress in the way of virtue. Send forth thy Holy Ghost upon all of us, and the face of our parish shall be renewed. And thou, O Mary, Immaculate Virgin and Mother of Perpetual Help, thou art the refuge and advocate of poor sinners. The more guilty they are, the more claim they have upon thy tenderness. It is for this reason that we make bold to implore thy powerful and motherly protection with all confidence. Our salvation is in thy hands. Plead our cause and intercede for us with thy divine Son. St. John Bosco, patron of the parish of San Diego, pray for us during the blessed days of this mission. Amen. This is a prayer. We are going to start our mission tomorrow in San Diego. And this prayer, everyone's been able to pray. And we can get an indulgence of 500 days in places where the mission has been publicly announced beforehand up to the beginning of the same. So if you have prayed along with me, hopefully, um, everything, can, the indulgence can be applied to the holy souls in purgatory. Today we had a few people, we had four people die. Um, so there's Father Perez, if you'll keep him in your prayers. He was a priest at Garden Grove, California, friend to the Society of St. Pius X. And I know he's been, I mean, when, when I first learned about tradition, I went up there a couple times. So he's been at least serving for the last couple decades. And something really sad that I heard was that he was not able to get the last rites because no one would let the priests in to give him last rites. So really, really pray for his soul. Um, I believe that he was a dedicated priest, but he didn't get that grace that of the of the last sacraments. So just really pray for him. And then my brother-in-law lost his mother this morning, Vanya Landini. Pray for her soul too. Um, we saw my sister shared a picture that she had of herself when she was a little girl who and she got her first Holy Communion. So I believe she was a faithful Catholic, even though her last few years I have she was not really able to communicate. So I had it really talk to her and she did speak Italian and, and I don't speak Italian. Um, the other soul, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is Vince Nussi. He's the husband of Gloria Nussi. She has been coming to St. John Bosco Mission on and off again for the last couple decades. I think she used to play the organ for us back in the day and you know, she then has just come to attend, but hasn't been back to Mass in a while because she's been taking care of her husband, who again died this morning. May he rest in peace. 
And the last one is a soul I actually don't know, but it was um, my priest who told me. Her name is Dolores Smith, and I believe she is Maddie Wilson's grandmother. So if you could keep these souls in your prayers that died this morning and for the success of this mission that we're going to have, you know, it's, I find it very ironic that so many people are dying and uh, we have this parish mission. We are, I think we're the last ones in Southern California from under the Arcadia Priory that are getting this parish mission. And I mean, really what it's about is to spend time with God, to think upon our eternal life and eternity. And I also recently saw a video by a comedian named Russell Brand. Now in the past, he's been kind of, um, what's the word? <laughs> Russell Brand is not somebody who I used to like very much, um, but I think he has since cleaned up his act. And if anything, he's just a good source of information about what's happening in the world. And he shared a story about how the world's elites those billionaires such as Jeff Bezos and I'm assuming the Facebook guy, um, they are trying to put their money into helping people to live forever. And I found it funny that these people are trying to give other others their version of what eternal life is, which would be the preservation of the body and you know, it's impossible to live eternally, but in a way it's like, that's what vampires do. You know, um, they live, they're immortal and they're bloodsuckers. So we got these kind of different vampires out there and I put two and two together and I thought I'd share here, you know, the powers that be, they want to sterilize us. They want to encourage the killing of our children in our wombs. Um, some people say that they have their agenda to depopulate the world through the Great Reset and what's called Agenda 2030. It's not a conspiracy. These are not conspiracies anymore. They're actually pretty well known and pretty out there, um, put out there. They're not denied anymore. And so they want to kill us all, <laughs> enslave us, uh, because, and I was like, well, why, why wouldn't you want to populate the world? We have so much, we still have, I was a social science with an emphasis in the envi environment major. And what I learned is that the world has so many resources enough to sustain so many more lives than what we already have. There's like wide open places, um, you know, we'll, the world is covered with water. We have an, the ability to desalinize water. We want to get fresh water. I mean, if you even want to look more into it, there are people who are able to control the weather. And if you don't believe me, you can look up the Beijing Office of Weather Modification. So they are being controversial toward their neighbor, India. India is pretty upset that they can now control, that China can now control weather over the size of the landmass of India. So they feel like you, that they can, China can weaponize it and uh, that it's not a good thing. So point is that these people are trying to control the world because I think they believe that they are their own gods, little g, and what they're not submitting to is what this parish mission is going to teach us this weekend, which is Father, I think it's Father Dreyer actually. Was it Father Dreyer or Fa maybe I was listening to Father Francis in an old video? But there's there are things we need to accept. Ah, it was it was Father Alphonsus. Number one, that we will all die, and we must accept that it is a fact of life. You you are born and you die. Number two, we don't know when we're going to die, and we don't know how we're going to die. And that is another thing that we need to realize. These people can pump themselves up with whatever it is they think that's going to cause them to live forever, but 
someone cuts off your head, you're dead. I mean, that's how the vampires die, right? <laughs> or they light them on fire or a stake through the heart. So immortal, just because you don't age doesn't mean you don't die. And number three, and I, I don't know if I'm actually getting this one right, but the number three is, is to meditate on the fact that we must know, love, and serve God in this world so that we can be happy with him in the next. And that is Catechism 101 for Catholics, unless you're a Novus Ordo Catholic, because I didn't know this when I was a Novus Ordo Catholic for 21 years. When I became a real Catholic, uh, I learned this. This is what my mom said they always learn. It's what is the purpose of life? And people are always seeking for the purpose of life, but the Catholic Church teaches it is to know, love, and serve God in this world so that we can be with him in the next. And that's all that really matters. So when praying this prayer for the success of the parish mission, I really am praying for all the souls who will most especially be on, who have sacrificed their time to be on this, but little do they know that they're not really sacrificing anything. They're getting all the blessings. And those people who think that they don't need to know this, well, I don't know what else they're living for because what do they say? The only guarantee is death and taxes. But that was I never really understood that as a kid, but here I am, middle-aged, and I do understand that death is guaranteed. And none of this other stuff truly makes um makes it, it can be more important than really where your soul is gonna end up for all eternity do you want to be in the friendship with god or do you want to be his enemy forever and if you want to learn more about that why wouldn't you spend some of your life getting to know what the eternity of your life is going to be so thank you for your prayers um Thank you for praying for those poor souls who have died this day, this morning. And let me know what you think about my theory about the elites and why this is all happening in the world. Um, it's just my thinking based on the, the things I've come across, especially Russell Brand's video today, just about how these elites think they're God. And it's very, very sad that their their version of paradise and eternal life is so far off. Um, so we got to pray for them too. And hopefully, again, the effect of this parish mission will be on those that attend and for, for the world that will renew the face of this one parish and in doing so have a more fervent life of the church. So God bless Father Alphonsus Marie for the 15 years he's been doing this. There aren't a lot of good redemptorist priests. I think most of us know they've kind of gone the way of the Jesuits. Used to be very, very good, um, led by a very awesome saint, but have since strayed, but may not be their fault. Maybe the Alta Vendita, all the people who, um, are trying to destroy the church from within have gotten to them. So pray for the good priests, pray for the conversion of priests and, and other souls. I've got another video I've been wanting to make about um, an infiltrator, a con man who has been going around to um, different groups, some secular groups, but he had been targeting for a long time Catholic groups. And I think it's because I'm learning a little bit about his his family life and um, just want to warn people because I was warned by a bunch of people and so I just want to give my part in that too so longer video than I thought but parish missions come in super excited for it I know a couple of um, women in my mother's generation who haven't been to a parish mission in decades since they were young girls and they're so excited and I just feel so honored to be able to be, participate in it, and I'm excited to be with the rest of you who've signed up, too. God bless, good night, and thank you again for your prayers.